Hi, I'm Nano Girl, and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of the light. I've been thinking maybe we've been going about this totally the wrong way. Instead of flying up in the air and ending up down on the floor or into a wall, maybe we could try and hover in the air just a few feet above the ground. But what do we know that hovers? Hmm. Oh, I know. A ping pong ball, obviously. What? You've never heard of a ping pong ball hovering? Watch this, my friend, because you are going to be in for a treat. If I take a hairdryer and a ping pong ball, let's see what happens. Look at that! That is a concept called Bernoulli's Principle. Hmm. What if Mr. Bernoulli wanted to be a superhero? Of course he did! Everybody wants to be a superhero, right? Okay, long time ago there was a scientist, his name was Daniel Bernoulli, and he worked out that faster flowing air creates lower pressure. He named that discovery after himself. Whatever. Bernoulli's Principle is the science behind how aeroplanes fly. So, watch this again. If you can see the hair dryer, it's going to make air and Bernoulli's principle says that faster flowing air creates lower pressure. So when we make the air in here, this ping pong ball gets trapped in the lower pressure by the slow moving air around it being high pressure and squeezing it in. That's pretty cool, which is why if I turn it up, we can turn it against gravity. Ah, sometimes. Anyway, okay, we can also show this with some toilet paper if you don't have a ping pong ball at home. So, toilet paper, very exciting, very scientific. What happens if I blow over the top of it? Well, we're going to follow the news principle, we're going to create fast flowing air over the top and it's going to create low pressure. So the pressure underneath, rise it up, watch this. Ready, steady, blow. Look at that, it lifts it up. Make sure you put the toilet roll back in the bathroom before it somebody shouts at you or is stuck on the toilet. You don't want that. I guess I should think about how I can use this knowledge to fly. Now planes use their wings to fly because they are a special shape which is called an aerofoil and that uses Bernoulli's principle to create lift. When a plane is flying, air goes over and under the wing. As the top of the wing is curved, the air moves fast over it and this creates lower pressure. The bottom of the wing is flat and so air flows slower underneath the wing. This creates high pressure which pushes the wing up and keeps the plane in the air. So why don't we make an aerofoil today? You will need a thin sheet of card like a cereal box card, a sheet of paper, a ruler, a pencil, scissors, tape, a wooden skewer or a thin stick and some blue tack or plasticine or whatever it is you like to make that squishy and fun. Okay, we're going to draw a rectangle 15 centimetres long and 12 centimetres wide onto the card. And now we're going to measure 6 centimetres in from the top and draw a line across to create two rectangles that look like this. We're going to cut this shape out. Now in the bigger rectangle you want to find the middle and then come in 2 centimetres and make a circular mark there. That's going to be important for later. Okay, now you're going to fold this along this line that you've drawn so that you can see the circle on the outside. Okay, so we're going to tape the ends together like this and then you're going to squish it a little bit so that you've got what looks like an aerofoil shape. Okay, now we need to make a hole into this dot that we've made. Now, what I usually do is put something soft and squishy to protect the table and you can either try and do this with a sharp pencil or with your scissors. You might need a grown-up to help you with some sharper scissors. So I'm going to do this with sharp scissors, making sure that I don't put my finger underneath this hole here. I'm going to just make a little hole there and go all the way through to the other side. And then you can use a pencil to make the hole a little bit bigger. Now we need to make a paper straw and we're going to do that by rolling a small strip of paper around a pencil. So I'm just going to cut a small piece like this off a sheet of paper and I'm going to wrap it around a pencil and have some tape ready to go. Like this. And then tape it like this. So this is our little paper straw. Okay, now you're going to stick your newly made paper straw into the holes that you have made and it's going to look just like this. 
Now you want it to just be sticking out, so if you've made your straw very long, you might want to trim it a little bit by snipping off the ends and snipping off the bottom. And if you're worried that your straw will slip, you can always take a little bit of tape and just secure it in place so that it doesn't slide. Okay, now we need to test its flying capabilities. So take your plasticine or your blue tack or your white tack or whatever you've got, stick it on the table and put your wooden skewer in the middle. Now your skewer may be a little bit spiky, so to make this safe and work better, snip the end off so it's nice and secure and then put it into your plasticine ball. And it should stand up nice and securely like this. Now it's time to test your aerofoil. You want to slide it into the straw like this and see whether or not it's stable. It looks nice and stable to me. Now to grab your secret ingredient, your hairdryer, and step away and see if you can blow your aerofoil and make it lift. Whoa, look at that! That is super cool. And if you look at the shape, you'll see it's shaped like an aeroplane wing and that it's curved on the top and flat on the bottom. Now, of course, it's time for the moment of truth. Could I, now girl, use Bernoulli's principle to levitate off the ground? To test that, we're gonna need my teeny tiny friend, Nano Nano Girl. Okay, hold on tight, tiny little Nano Girl. Going for a flight, here we go. Oh no! Are you okay down there, Nano Nano Girl? Uh-oh, I guess she didn't hold on tight enough. Okay, maybe Bernoulli's principle is not gonna help me after all to levitate. Might be tricky also finding an elephant-sized hairdryer to be able to move my heavy body too. Back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. I will see you tomorrow for another experiment. And uh, hey, did you like the experiment today, Nano Nano Girl? She said she was blown away. <gasps> See you later.